Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you and blessed will you be. Alleluia. In nomine Patris et Filius Spiritus Sancti, Gracia Domini Nostri Jesu Christi et Caritas de Communicatio Sancti Spiritus, sit com omnibus vobis. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Oremos. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph, and under his patroness we may complete the works you have set, set us to do, and attain the rewards you promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some would come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you're circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling, the conversion, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done for them. But some of the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. Verbum Domini. Alleluia! I rejoiced because they said to me, We'll go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, give thanks in the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominus Rubiscum, Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segundum Johannum. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And everyone who does, and everyone that does, he prunes so it'll bear more fruit. You already prune because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. 
I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. Our people, people gather around them and throw them into the fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me, my word remains in you. Ask whatever you want will be done for you. By this the Father is glorified. That you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters of Christ, a couple of things. First, I'm Father Stephen and Barato of protestchildkilling.com, but also Our Lady of America, a devotee of Our Lady of America. Our Lady of America.com is the website, Our Lady of America.com. And today is First Wednesday. Right where we honor the pure heart of St. Joseph. It is also his feast day, the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. So day of great grace, and traditionally on first Wednesday, I celebrate Mass for the intentions of the devotee, uh, devotees of Our Lady of America, Our Lady of America.com, Our Lady of America.com. It's called the Our Lady of America Devotion. That can be found at OurLadyOfAmerica.com. So, so they, their, their intentions are the particular intentions of this Mass. And then, of course, we always pray for your intentions, my intentions. And, of course, I'll elaborate at the prayers of the faithful. But blessed day of St. Joseph, first Wednesday. Day of great grace. These next few days. Days of great grace, right? First Wednesday, first Friday, first Saturday, the month of Mary, right? The, the Feast of St. Joseph always ushers in the month of Mary. It makes perfect sense. Uh, uh, St. Joseph, the protector of Mary, the protector of the Holy Family. This is a period of great grace, right? And of course, it's the, the blossoming of spring, all things new, right? And so we should be rejoicing in this Easter season about the richness and the beauty of our Catholic faith. And, and, and it's apropos, right, in this, in this springtime, in this season, that we hear Jesus twice this week, right? I think because, was it this Sunday or the Sunday before that uh, the, the Sunday gospel is, I am the vine and you are the branches, and we hear this again. And uh, how do we produce much fruit? How do we maximize the fruit that we produce that can only be produced if we are attached to the vine, attached to Jesus, remaining in Jesus and having Jesus remain in us, right? Through the Eucharist, receiving the Eucharist in the state of the grace. We need to be properly disposed. We need to believe. We need to be in the state of grace. Properly disposed to receive the Eucharist. And indeed, Jesus says that those who... Uh, eat my body and drink my blood, will have eternal life, and I'll raise you up on the last day. And if you don't eat my body and drink my blood, you have no life in you. You will wither. You will die. You'll be thrown into the fire. This is the promise of eternal salvation. And how beautiful it is, my brothers and sisters in Christ. St. Joseph and the Blessed Virgin Mary, of course, were attached to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed Mother, I mean physically, emotionally, in every way. And of course, St. Joseph, the adorer and protector of our Lord, they were attached to the vine, right? They, they uh, saw Jesus and helped Jesus grow in wisdom, maturity, right? In the faith. Um, it, it's just so beautiful, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And, uh, and I just want to make mention of uh, these coming scripture passages in the first reading where we're going to see the Holy Spirit working in his church and how the Holy Spirit works in his church, right? The first council of Jerusalem we're going to hear in the next couple of days. And so let us today, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, ask the Holy Family for protection not just for ourselves, not just for our families, uh, but also for the church. Now let us ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs for the Catholic Church, for the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, religious, for our seminary study, for the priesthood, for those discerning religious life, for mothers, fathers, 
husbands, wives, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, that everyone in their vocation may desire to do all things in humble obedience, for the praise, honor, and glory of God, the atonement and reparation for our sins, and charity and chastity in our vocations, we pray to the Lord. The peace in the world, Eucharistic unity amongst all Christians, the conversion of the world, the conversion of nations and political leaders, conversions necessary within the hierarchy of the church, within our families and our own daily personal conversions. For anyone that we wounded or led astray in our lives, for anyone that's wounded us, that we be reconciled with everyone. Uh, for the end of all the vicious attacks against life, marriage, and family, and for the least of Christ's brethren, the unborn, the poor, the sick, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the hungry, the imprisoned, for all those suffering any trial or tribulations, whether it be physical or spiritual, they may find comfort in Jesus as we reach out to them in spiritual and corporal works of mercy for the particular intentions of this Mass, the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of America found at OurLadyOfAmerica.com for uh, the intentions of all those who we said we were praying for, including those who may forget to pray for, for our personal intentions, family intentions, health intentions, ministerial, vocational intentions, and the intentions of those who pray for us, encourage us, support us each day for the, uh, for the uh, souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them. For our deceased loved ones and family members and our loved ones and family members who are away from the church that they may embrace Christ's sacraments of mercy, we pray to the Lord. And we ask for this, we ask for all good things through the intercession of St. Padre Pio, St. Joseph, and the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels, martyrs, and saints, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. O God, fount of mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in, in commemoration of St. Joseph and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Dominos verbiscum, sorsum corda, gracias agimus domino Deo nostro. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. For in the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praises we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope John, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servant. And all gather here as faith and devotion known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise and the offer for themselves and all who are dear to them. The redemption of their souls and the hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damon, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our family, that of your whole family, uh, uh, oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fide. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension in heaven of Christ, your, our, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer it to your glorious majesty for the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim the spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne, by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace to us also, your servants of those sinners. Hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. 
Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but grant us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Per ipsum e con ipsum et in ipsum est tibi Deo Patri omnipotent di unitate Spiritus Sancti. Amas in all gloria pamnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Pax Domino sit semper fabiscum. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord. Give it thanks to God through him. Hallelujah. Lord Amos, having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, may we ever enjoy the fruits of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Dominos Frobiscum Benedica Vos Omnipotens Deus, Pater Filius Spiritus Sanctus, Ita Misa S. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking to ruin his souls. Amen. Regina Celi Laetare, Alleluia. Quia quem medodisti partare, Alleluia. Resurrexi, si good dixi, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. 
Now, my brothers and sisters in Christ, for those of you who may not be familiar with Our Lady of America devotion, uh, here you see the statue of Our Lady of America. Here next to my statue is St. Joseph. Uh, and I, of course, look at I'm a son of St. Joseph, born on March 19th, spouse of Mary, feast of St. Joseph. I have St. Joseph, terror of demons. I have St. Joseph, of course, here the statue. Our Lady of America, OurLadyOfAmerica.com, OurLadyOfAmerica.com. You can get that statue, all right, OurLadyOfAmerica.com if you're all interested. The large image of Our Lady of America, also at OurLadyOfAmerica.com. Uh, and indeed, uh, for those of you who are devotees of Our Lady of America, uh, we uh, Bless you, especially in all of your intentions on this special day of a First Wednesday, the purity of the, of the heart of St. Joseph uh, and, of course, St. Joseph the Worker. And those of you who are not devotees of Our Lady of America, go to OurLadyOfAmerica.com and find out more about this wonderful, it's a, it's a USCCB-approved private devotion. The USCCB approved private devotion. So check it out, OurLadyOfAmerica.com. I love you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Again, Father Imbarato Live coming up later. I'm going to the abortion facility. So pray for me. I'll pray for you. Go out into the world today, my friends, and give them heaven.